Shopping, not for a baby, but for baby clothes. Yeah, yeah. and baby Cause, products. Because I'm gonna be a grandma. Yeah, let's face it, the three of us don't want any more clothes. No. <laughs> no. The closest thing is grandma now. Yeah. Yay. Grandma's rock. <laughs> okay, so um, here it is Saturday, and I've decided on how I'm going to treat this edge. Actually, Bubba the Love Sponge came to the same conclusion pretty much as I did. I had been thinking about it for a while, but I, I don't like putting uh, stained wood edging on the floors. But uh, it, it looks like it's probably the best idea. I'm going to get some a three-quarter inch oak, stain it to match these cabinets. And I'm going to run that the, the full length of this edge. Uh, I will probably make sure I grind the edge down so that it fits nice and snug. I will use a mastic to attach it and probably a couple of um, concrete anchors to make sure it's in place. And it's going to sit half inch uh, above the concrete so that uh, from out here so that the tile will, will uh, but right up to it so it'll be exactly the same height so that when I step on it I will be stepping on the wood edge instead of the edge of the of the uh, tile and the tile won't break I gotta still have to fill in these cracks it's glued on there nice and tight it's not going anywhere and so I have to go to the lumber yard right now I'm gonna go to Ganal Lumber so here we are guys at the Ontario Mills Mall and we are going to uh, Frederick's because Kaya needs to return a bra that broke. Shh. And then we are going to go have lunch at the Rainforest Cafe. It's a beautiful place if you've never been there. I will definitely show you what it looks like. Sarah's my chauffeur today. And Kaya, where's Kaya? Kaya's back there. <laughs> Here we are, entry number five. Okay, so we say fun starts here. Woo! Okay, so here is Rainforest Cafe. What do you think, Sarah? I like that mushroom. <laughs> what mushroom? I don't see any mushrooms. <laughs> Look at the cute little bra. Yeah. It got a little store attached to it. Nice. Can I buy these bananas? Look at it. You know I'm going to buy the baby a snack. fish gone. They must be cleaning it because all the fish are gone. This is usually filled with fish. We're at the Rainforest Cafe and I became a frog. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Canal Lumber has been here since before Corona, as far as I understand, when it was originally called South Riverside. 
Corona, the uh, Ganal family has been here forever. Do you want to sit on this side? Like, I'm over by all the stuff that creeps and crawls and flies and moving and it gets the more than that. The elephant was moving. That elephant was moving. The gorillas over there, they're hard to see but they were moving. But things move and you know there'll be a storm in a little while too. And then they, they made me sit by the stuff that flies. Good, and figure out what I can eat. Yeah, I gotta look at the menu. I haven't looked yet. It's gonna be a hard decision for me. Should ask for the kids' menu. <laughs> No, I'm looking for all her fries to eat. I think Sarah should put it on for a minute too, don't you? I think she'll kill you first. <laughs> no. No frogs. On my head. Look, she's got a frog. She's got a frog. No frogs on my head though. So I got myself a 12 foot stick about five and a half inches wide which is more than enough it says uh, red oak it's got a little character to it it's got some wormholes I can handle that put a flag on it so I don't get stopped it's got about four feet sticking out the back so don't have far to go so that shouldn't be a problem so I'll get this started so we had a wonderful lunch and a successful day at Burlington uh, baby Depot. We got lots and lots of fun stuff for the baby and we are on our way out. We are what? Toys R Us. Oh, we are on our way to Toys R Us. Oh yeah. Sarah needs what? I need booger. Oh, I need booger. Slime, booger, whatever it's called. We're going to Toys R Us next. Got another kid's birthday tomorrow. We got a Surrounded kid's birthday. By children. Yes. And Kevin's getting baby wrapping paper. You guys want to know why so. I'm immature all the time? It's because I'm surrounded by so many children. <laughs> I'm surrounded by a lot of kids. All the time. <laughs> I'm just immature because that's who I am. <laughs> Neighborhood community shout outs. Okay, so I only have really one shout out and the rest is all about my question from yesterday. Jeez. So, Tanya Longley says, are we sure it is Kane farting and not us farting and blaming him? If it is one of us farting, we need to seek professional help immediately. That's right. I want a divorce. <laughs> you can't have one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my question yesterday is, what is the story behind your name? Why did your parents name you what they named you? Because they hate you. <laughs> we had some interesting ones, and I did not want anybody to say, well, I got my name because that's what my parents named me. I accepted that answer from one person and one person only. And that was Bambi S. Her father named her, and that's all she really knows. So I accepted it from her, but nobody else. Um, 
Melody Mainville. She got her name Melody, which means song, and she sings. But it was also from a prophet named Mel. And it was almost Melvina. And she's glad it was not Melvina. She's glad they went with Melody. Um, Tanya Longley. Her sister was supposed to be Tanya, but her sister was premature, so the parents named her Tina. And then when Tanya was born, they named her Tanya. And I grew up with Tanya, and I can't picture calling her anything but Tanya. Shalene TV. Her father knew a woman with the name Shalene, and he asked permission. He liked the name so much that he asked permission if he could name his daughter Shalene, and she said yes. So that's how Shalene got her name. Shelter from Wind, Ville, which means town in French, also rhymes with her brother's and sister's names. How did you how did you come up with how did your mother and father came up with your come up with your name? Blah blah blah. The story I heard was that my mom wanted to name me Steve. Can you imagine Steve McLean? <laughs> Steve McQueen. <laughs> and my father said, No, it's too common a name she he so he went with Kevin, which is an Irish name and wasn't very popular at the time. She was looking for something different. Of course, now apparently it's, it's become very popular. My name was supposed to be Christine with a C. And the reason why is because my parents have Karina and Connie, both with C's, and they wanted to stick with C's with Christine. But when I was born, my cousin Ernie was at the hospital and he was holding me and I, ha I was born with a scar on the back of my leg, and it's shaped like a Greek V. And my cousin Ernie found that scar that I was born with. And he says, no, no, Rita, my mom, you can't name her Christine. You've got to name her something that starts with a V. So my cousin Ernie named me Valerie. Anyway, tonight's question is, do you know what your zodiac sign is and what it means and does it represent you? It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. She thinks she's being different. Okay, so um, I like last night's question uh, about uh, Night of the Creeps from 19... Christopher Atkins. Um, everybody's name, their last name, is was the name of a uh, well-known uh, movie director at the time, uh, mostly horror films. Uh, represented was George Romero, John Carpenter, Toby Hooper, David Cronenberg, James Cameron, John Landis, Sam Raby, and Steve Wine. Also, the university they were at was it was Corman University, Roger. Okay, the people who got that correct were Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, Greg Myers, and Bambi S. Yes. Yay! Okay, tonight's uh, trivia question is an easy one. I hope it's an easy one. It's from the 1987 uh, Evil, Dead. Evil Dead 2 with uh, Bruce Campbell. While well, Bruce Campbell is uh, messing with a chainsaw, uh, the shed, there you can see something above his head um, from a, a, another movie. It's a prop from another movie. What is it? There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you very much. But then, then, we love you. <laughs> really? <laughs> this is another blooper, guys. We love you very much. <laughs> Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo, Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, P.I.N., and Megan's Arts and Crafts channel. And we will see you all tomorrow.